The Renaissance! Man vs. Nature! It was until this time period that people thought the Earth was the center of the universe. But then Galileo introduced a new model where the sun was the center of the universe. But from a religious point of view, the universe was theocentral. That means that God is in, in the center of everything. Ideologies! Humanism was a new way of thinking from the medieval way. God was no longer in the focus, man was. <laughs> Humans didn't prepare for the life after death, but focused on the present life. Societies! Um, because of humanism, there was a growing awareness of the potential of humans. German Johannes Gutenberg's movable metal type letters made it possible for a high percentage of the people to get the possibility to read. Every creation had its particular position in the world. They called this the chain of being. Everyone has a destiny, and if someone or something upset this harmony, it turns the whole world upside down. A lot of new words were introduced to the English language because of Shakespeare. Science. And because of people learning Latin. Cavidium? But in the end of the Renaissance, English started to replace Latin as the language of education. In the Renaissance, Martin Luther attacks the Roman Catholic Church, which ends with the Reformation in 1536. Henry VIII turned himself away from Roman Catholicism and declared himself head of church in 1534. This was called the Act of Supremacy. Boys from five to seven years old went to pity school. Here they were taught how to read and write, and they were forced to learn Martin Luther's catechism. If you were born into a wealthy family, girls were allowed to get homeschooled. Mega fed. Martin Luther. Martin Luther.